Manja, manja, bon appetit, let's eat. It's time for Tank's Cooks. Manja, manja, bon appetit, let's eat. It's time for Tank's Cooks. It's time, it's time, it's time once again. <laughs> chicken today. Ah yes, I got this recipe off the uh, Stu Leonard's website. I got this recipe off the Stu Leonard's website and uh, well, it seemed interesting to me. So I'm gonna be making hooli hooli chicken and we basically gotta do at least a um, three hour marinade. So we start off by making the marinade. And uh, yeah, well, if you're making something from Hawaii, it's naturally got to have some pineapples involved. So we're going to start off with a cup of pineapple. Da -da 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 -da. We got this. Couldn't find the, uh, the fresh pineapple, just had to buy this one. Let me open this. Let me, good God, what are we doing here? Come on. Well, I guess that's the... There we go. So we'll make a cup of pineapple. Look at that. Weep. It's a little extra just for causation. Then we take a cup of chicken broth. And we pour that into our bowl. All right. Then we're going to need a half a cup of a soy sauce. Soy, soy, half a cup of soy. Bringing lots of joy when we use a half a cup of soy. Here we go. Half a cup of soy. Ooh, we are making a marinade now. <laughs> We add a half a cup of brown sugar. So let's get our half cup of brown sugar. All right. You know, brown sugar really clumps up, so you have to get these little things in there. <laughs> da -da -da -da, so it doesn't clump up. So we'll put a half cup of brown sugar into our mixing bowl here. There it is. <laughs> All right, the next ingredient is, now they, they say put ketchup, but you know I hate ketchup, so I ain't putting ketchup in this thing. Instead, I'm gonna use some uh, old-fashioned barbecue sauce. So let's get this barbecue sauce label off. I guess I have to use the knife to get the open up the barbecue sauce. This is labeled so on so tight. Here we go. Barbecue sauce. All right, so this calls for a um, third of a cup of barbecue sauce. So we'll get a third of a cup of a barbecue sauce. Got this little thing on here. So let's get a dirt of a cup of the barbecue sauce in here. Da -da -da -da. Here's a little trick to get the uh, more, make sure the whole thing gets out of the eating is take the cup and you can also stir it with the cup too. Then we need 
two T. Oops. That's for the, uh, what is this? Two teaspoons of minced ginger. So let me get the teaspoon out and get the ginger about. Alrighty. Let's put the uh, two teaspoons of minced ginger in here. There's one teaspoon of minced ginger and now a second teaspoon. Now we'll get some Now we'll put some garlic in. We got this garlic here. We got to put uh, one and a half teaspoons of uh, garlic in. So let's put that. That's one. And there's a half. Stir with this a little bit too. Get a little bit of that off too. All right, we'll throw in a little bit of uh, some little extra like spices to make it nices. Do some peppering, I mean salting. A little bit of pepper. A little lemon pepper. A skosh of garlic powder and of course accent <laughs> all right let's whisk this baby up pretty good and mix it nicely together so all blends will it blend in the end will it blend will it blend in the end will it blend Will it blend in the end? Will it blend in the end? That's what we're gonna do. All right, now we're for the second part, we're gonna actually put the chicken in the marinade. Now we're not gonna put it in that bowl. We're not gonna put it in this bowl, we're gonna put it in a separate bowl because we're gonna have to save some of this marinade for later. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take uh, naked boneless chicken thighs. Stews make it to the you know, I, I picked this up and a chicken was singing at me. Okay, it's two Leonard's. So let's get this chicken out. All right, get the chicken. There we go. So we got these nice little uh, chicken dies. We'll put them into a bowl. All right, we got the chicken thighs in the bowl. And of course, you know what we're gonna do. Accent them, give them a little accent right onto our beautiful chicken thighs. Also throw a little bit of this uh, uh, garlic powder. Make sure these are like, get the nice little dry before the wet. And of course, a little bit, oh, that was the lemon pepper first. All right, this is the garlic powder. All right, now we'll throw in the marinade. We'll pour it right on top of them, right in the bowl. Whoops. Cover it all up. Stick you down there. Cover that up. All right, now we're gonna put this into the fridge. And it's gotta marinate for three hours. So we'll cover it up, we'll uh, let it marinate for three hours and at least three hours. You could do it overnight. You could do it uh, as long as you want, but it's gotta be at least three hours into the marinade. And uh, then you could uh, take it outside and grill this baby up. All right, now it's cooking time. So it's time to get this Hooli Hooli chicken on the Hooli Hooli grill. Hooli Hooli chicken onto the Hooli Hooli grill. We're gonna thrill with the Hooli Hooli chicken on the grill. Oh, 
course, we should put some uh, cooking spray on the grates. Spray up the grates. Probably should have sprayed them before I started the fire. <laughs> hooli, 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 chicken on the grill. Hooli, 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 chicken on the grill. Yes, there we go. We got the hooli, hooli chicken on the hooli, hooli grill. We'll throw a little salt and pepper on them while they're here. Also put some salt and pepper on our corn on the cob that's cooking. <clears throat> Put it up and we'll flip it in about four or five minutes. All right, let's see how this chicken is doing. Hooli, 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 dooey, dooey, hooli. We'll rotate the uh, corn. And we'll flip the bird. Turn the bird around. Cook on other side now. Yes, that's right. I am flipping the bird. Turn the bird around. Yes, yes, yes. Do 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 do. Hooli hooli chicken. We're making hooli hooli chicken. I'm making hooli hooli chicken. This is cooking up fast. Ooh, ooh, ooh. May have to take some of this off, put it, some of the smaller pieces and put them over here. Hooli hooli chicken, chicken hooli. Hooli 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 chicken hooli. Yeah, it's starting to char up a little bit. Shit. Turn the corn again. As the hooli hooli chicken enters its final stages of cooking, we're gonna put on some pineapple slices. As the hooli chicken reaches its final stages of cooking, we're gonna throw on some pineapple slices. Pineapple slices gonna be quite nice. Pineapple slices, cook the pineapple slices. Pineapple slices for the hooli chicken. Hey, chicken, hey, chicken. Meantime, I think these chickens are done. Yeah, a real small chicken breast. Chicken thighs, I should say. So let's see what the temperature is. Yeah, I think we're done. So I could take these off and just cook the uh, the pineapples and we'll get ready to eat. It's gonna be real fast to cook these uh, pineapples. We just wanna get some good grill marks all around. So let's flip them. Flip the pineapple, flip the pineapple. Flip the pineapple. Apple, flip. Flip, and flip. And I'll throw you more marinade onto the chicken over here too. That's resting up. So it soaks a little bit in juices as we get ready to serve this baby up. All right, let's get these pineapples off and get ready to serve this baby up. I misplaced my thong for a second. Here we go, I got the thongs taking this off and we're gonna take the hooli hooli pineapples and put it on the hooli hooli chicken and we're gonna get ready to plate the hooli hooli meal. Hooli hooli chicken. 
gonna be quite licking, finger licking when we make the hooly hooly chicken. Time to plate the meal. Time to plate the meal. Well, here's our hooly hooly chicken. It looks like we spilt some of the hooly hooly uh, marinade there, but hey, that's okay. So let's grab a little piece of a chicken. There it is. We'll grab one of these uh, uh, pineapples and we'll get ready to dig in. Manja manja bon appetit. This recipe I actually got from the Stu Leonard's website. So let's see how this came out. Hooli hooli chicken. You know what? It came out really good. I might be in New Jersey at a New Jersey sunset. May not be as impressive as Hawaii. But you know what? I gotta say, this hooli hooli chicken came out okay. So, manja manja, bon appetit, let's eat. And if you wanna have a recipe you wanna send me, njtank99 at gmail.com. And of course, aloha. And uh, let's dig in.